and there we have it. Pins are in, well, nails are in, and we've sprayed them up, so that should uh, have us going. Oh. Good Monday morning. Bright and breezy, it's 20 past seven. I'm sure other people get to work early than us, well I know people do. But um, today we've got concrete and we've got the grab on. Uh, concrete's coming at half eight and we're gonna have the laser level on Saturday. So we've got the laser, we're gonna get the levels in. We're gonna wrap the, um, the, the pipe in polystyrene so that we can concrete around it and put some boards out on the next door's drive because we have to go across next door's drive which we've, we've, we've we have to go across next door's drive because we've asked but we've asked permission for that and um oh yeah put a few boards out in the garden stop them falling into the hole yeah because it's a deep hole we don't want to go in there with a wheelbarrow um so um it's a bit of a bad dash because the concrete's coming at half eight and we're not ready so we've got here a bit earlier to get stuck in so we'll catch you around on the job thankfully we've got a laser level Yes we, have a, yes, we have our laser level, our trusty Spectra, I read the box. Uh, so see you around there. Oh, right, and here we are. So, you've seen this a million times already, but there's our footing and there's our pipe, which we've managed to get as much around as we can. Get. There's our pipe, which we've managed to get enough concrete chipped away around it. And like Dad said, we're going to wrap that up in polystyrene and get ourselves ready for this. Level's out ready. Well, the level's there. It's not out yet, but get what I mean. But we're going to get you set up and get this in as quick as we can so we're ready for this concrete. It's, we're either like two hours too, too ready for them or like we're, we're just about smidge we've done it. It's, there's no in between. There's no happy medium where we're ready. We're always either way too early or we're just scraping it. So let's get this uh, GoPro set up. See you in a sec. some pins set out. And there we have it, pins are in, and they're all been sprayed up so we know where they are. I'll tell you what, that level is a lifesaver. We'd, we'd still be doing this if we had the straight edge, and we'd just only fiddle around here. It saved us a lot of uh, time. Oh. Cat cam. But yeah, it saves us a lot of time, so levels are ready, so bring on the concrete. Now, uh, now I think we're going to try and tackle some of this. So. Season sec. Here we go. Grabs here. Gene Napier, our good pal Steve's come to a. Uh... Pardon? Your wagon? Yeah. Right. Concrete company have just arrived. So I think they're waiting for Steve to get finished up and then we're going to get the concrete poured in. So. Everything's definitely getting done. So I'll get you set up so you can watch. Uh... Steve Lake Magic.
I'll tell you what, that's progress. And you can tell how much is uh, we've got to dig out of there. So, me and Steve have just uh, shoveled back a load of the crap. And now he's going to get these stones put here. And then we'll be maybe able to get a bit more on. And hopefully see the back of that soon. And obviously the concrete company's here now. They're wheeling through, Dad's, Dad's handling them. I'm handling Steve. So yeah, it's a busy morning. So I'll get you set back up while, uh, while it's all happening. Yeah. Oh, sorry for all this turbulence. Just want to get an angle of us getting this steel in. So, we need to get our drain sorted out. Dude, get loaded out. With the rain, though. Yeah. Check it. Is it all right with that, yeah? Yeah. No problem. Right, let's get this steel in. Right, you 
see where it's been cut out there. Yeah. To go around that. Not that way. Cut! Cut! <laughs> yeah. Oh. There you go, there's the outtake. Right. You're like a Jesus but with concrete. No, I'm not, I'm sinking. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck here. <laughs> the ones the film. Oh, no gloves. Oh, there we go. That's down. Tell you what, I say this every time, but there's nothing more satisfying than when that concrete's in. Look at that. Oh, finally. And now it doesn't look anywhere near as deep as it was, does it? Still pretty deep, but it's all done. And the steel mesh all the way in there, as you saw on the talents and on the video. So that's all reinforced. The pipe's been boarded off, polystyrene. Beautiful. Thank you to the Concrete Company. That's literally the name, the Concrete Company. <laughs> I've not forgot the name, that is the name. So, there we go. That is a big, big relief. And uh, I'll take you around to the front and show you the, uh, the front now. Look at that. Where's, where's all that mess gone? So all the all the crap has been taken away. We've had some MOT dropped off. Had about four, four ton dropped off, I think. But that's another big, big stress off our shoulders. So that one's a massive thank you to Steve over at J Napier. They're our, definitely our go-to grab company, aren't they? Steve's a massive help. He, he was down here with the spade helping me get all that crap loaded into his uh, bucket. So that's the big tasks of the job done. Yeah. We need to clear his drive and make sure it's clean. We did promise him it'd be clean. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll get that sorted out. Have a quick break first. Sounds That's good to me. Board. Yeah. <laughs> Another casualty of the job. But yeah, so let's have a quick break. What time's it out? Quarter to four. Oh, that was a good guess. Um, so. What are we doing? This morning, concrete went in, 4.1 metres, which arrived exactly the same time as the grab wagon, Steer our super driver, got rid of all the crap for us. That massive pile of crap was only 14 tonne, believe it or not. So we could have got another load in there, but it was where to put it on the drive. But that's, that's, it is what it is. Took more concrete than we expected, but again, it needed, it needed to be where it is now. Then uh, we started investigating this pipe. Uh, we found the end of the gully broken, smashed, kept going. Got to about here, broken, smashed. Then we got to here, 
and it came up and then down and then this bend here went down into this bend which goes down there probably at about a 45 degree angle luckily for us the soil pipe dropped straight in and under this has been renewed with plastic and you'll see in the corner there there's a band seal so that's where it goes into the original clay so the original you can see a bit of a lintel maybe a doorstep but it looks like a lintel you can see all the pipes used to go under the garage wall this is the original garage which is, the door's been bricked up and then obviously those pipes turn or hit a manhole in there somewhere and head out to the front of the house so thank god the soil pipe doesn't go underneath the um, underneath the floor surface water comes in though a lot, quite deep you won't even see it here because it's, it's level with the concrete at that end and it's coming this way so it's going to be way down there somewhere I expect that drops into it because that was a surface gully then we've got this soil and then we've got a foul gully there don't know where that goes because we can't find the pipe for that but that's getting blanked off so what I'm doing now is there's no way of getting a band seal onto that so um, you get this little fancy invention it plug, it's a, obviously it's your under mill pipe but it plugs into your clay so I'll just show you how it works if I can get the camera set up oh yeah no fairy liquid today we remembered the air uh, because we brought the bag of drainage bits that was in there so proper poly pipe lubricant so bit on there fit <laughs> beautiful that's probably a better fit than a normal seal so now we're going to come out the only thing we can do with this is 90 and a 90 so because it's a bottle gully just bottle gully you've got that black insert is removable so you can clean out the trap and put that back in so um, yeah I'm going to come out across and back round and put the gully that side of the wall out there so I'm going to get this set up now ready for tomorrow and then there's a bit of pipe work to do at that end which we can't do until we get some wall up and then we can dig down and find, it, find some good pipe to connect to and reinstate that gully at the top which is over there top corner I'm pretty sure the gully's just blocked. If not, we'll just have to replace it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take out the smashed clay and put some plastic in. So uh, I'll carry on with this for now. There we go. That's as far as we can get today. That's got a lovely fall on that. And it's gonna have the same here, a very nice steep fall out to that 90 and out to the gully. But we can't we can't place that gully until it's been backfilled and we know where the wall is. Because this, this gully is to take the downspout off the roof, off this roof, so it'll be coming down here. We haven't gone the other end because it's because the, the smash clay, so we've started again at this end. Tapped into the original pipe. I know it's 290s but it's only surface water off the roof and it's a it's a cleanable gully like that and it's also roddable although you won't be able to rod around the 90 degree bends so that's it we can't place this until we've, we've got our wall positions and then we can come in 300 
a little bit further and send it straight out. So we've just got two small lintels across then to get it out. So yeah, that's the that's the plan. Um, rest of the day now is just get loaded out what we can. So we've got to start in the morning. Weather forecast isn't brilliant, but we'll just have to suck it and see. You can you can lay these in the rain as long as it's not too heavy. So let's tidy our bits up. I'm going to turn that up for now, so nothing can get in it. Nothing can fall down it. That's that for now. Um, yeah, that's it. Alex brought some commons round for the cattle. Where is it? Oh, it's just gone under the, the it's just gone under the brick jackets. Yeah, it's a beautiful day now. It's nice and cool. Nice breeze. Everything's drying out really well. Just for it to get wet again tomorrow. Yeah, not as we, not as we cover everything up. Um, our extra trench block of corn because we've put an extra course of trench block in. Basically we've doubled the concrete and put an extra course of trench in because it's just so deep. Uh, there's half a metre of concrete in there, reinforced, and then we've still got to come up. See the ground's lower, we're coming up to here. DPC, that's the garage DPC, we're coming up to this DPC which is the house. So there's seven courses of face showing on the, on the garden there. I mean, it might be less when they do the garden, but the garden's being landscaped. The front and back's being done as well, so... But we just can make sure it's right when we leave here. Concrete's dried out nicely. Made up with that. Couple of lintels over there, which we've got. Couple of lintels over there, which we've got. Where is the lintel? Lintel? Oh, there. Concrete one here behind. Yeah. We don't need 6 before fours We're going to start using 4 by 3s You don't need 6 before fours on a span that big. What, 150 mil span? So, I'm just thinking now, depends how high that gully comes. Yeah, the gully's got, the gully's got to stay quite low because of the ground. It can't come up too high with that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. like we, get to it. we might have to put a bend on that and shallow it down a bit to get the fall. Right. But we'll see tomorrow. So I'm going to jump on with Alex now, job and knock, loading out, and then back in the morning. Uh -huh.